Kevin. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and visiting my channel. It's the first day of Vlogmas and I haven't done anything today. I've just got my hair done. Um, I've been using the same person for a long time, so it's about time that y'all meet her. She's amazing. She did these braids. She's done the wigs that I've been wearing on Instagram. Um, yeah, she's been braiding my hair for a long time. So, Hi, my name is Lara. I'm the uh, person behind African Dubai Salon. So I make braids here in Dubai. I come to your home and if you're comfortable coming to mine, it's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Lara. So y'all, I did my makeup and then I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and go to the gym later. Um, thanks, Rafa, she's so beautiful. <laughs> Rafa, I love her. Um, but I decided I'm gonna go to the gym because I signed up for this gym and it was really expensive. Gyms in Dubai are really expensive. And um, and I'm addicted to spinning now. So there's a class at three and it's like two o'clock. So I'm gonna hit up one store. I really wanna get some decorative pillows. Um, some decorative pillows. I need to get some new clothes. Like I just feel like I need to go shopping. And I've been to, Dubai Mall, Mall of Emirates, they have cute pillows, but they're not like Christmas. And people always ask me like, do, does Dubai do Christmas? And yeah, they do it big, but they don't have the stuff like we have back home. So it's just kind of like, you know, when you go into a store and you're looking for one specific thing. Sorry, shoes aren't going on. Yeah, you're looking for one specific thing and you can't find it. That's how I am. So I just end up, I've left multiple times with nothing. Um, you see my room. This is my bathroom. It's really bad. Um, like I said, <laughs> y'all get to see like the real. Y'all want to see my apartment? It's a mess, okay? Um, but yeah, we're heading out. Hey, I don't know if you can see me or not. We need to fix this. Um, I know it's gonna be bumpy, but I'm headed to the mall. My favorite mall is Murdiff City Center because it's not all packed and it has good stores. If you hit me, we're going to have a problem. So stop because I know my face is very dark. Okay, can y'all see me? Can y'all see me a little better? Okay, so anyway, um, I was like just driving and listening to Buddha by LMA, and I was like, wow. Before I post these videos for Vlogmas, I really need to change my intro because. I don't have a boyfriend anymore. <laughs> I haven't had one in a very long time. And he is all up in my videos and in my intro. And I had someone, um, she's a friend, but when we first met, she was asking me, hold on. She was asking me about him, like, where is he? So, if you have watched my videos and you've seen my boyfriend, and you just come to love him and he's so sweet to be in Dubai and all of that good stuff. Um, we're no longer together. Um, we just, you know. <laughs> That's it. Um, but it has been almost like a whole year and, you know, a little bit of toxicity wants me to be like, Merry Christmas. What's up? What's good? What you doing? But I'm not, okay? Because what? Growth. And you know when you know, you know when you know when you know. And I knew 
so now y'all know okay it just wasn't it and a lot of people ask me like so how is dating in dubai it's straight trash okay if you move out here don't do it reconsider you're not gonna find your husband out here you're not gonna find your i don't know which I, whatever you're looking for you're not gonna find it in dubai um and there are many reasons why but you gotta take my opinion for it go ahead and try do it you come out here and you start dating girl you do you you go on them dates you get on tinder and hinge and uh what's the other one whatever grinder whatever you want to do do you maybe you will be more successful than i was because i wasn't and i'm speaking in past tense because that's dead okay i'm done what is for me will come to me. <laughs> um, my phone is drier than the Dubai desert right now. So, yeah, that's that. I talk to myself a lot when I'm driving. So, I may say some crazy stuff in December. I may have to edit all of this out. And I know during Vlogmas you're supposed to do minimal editing but I really just say stuff and then I'm just like, mm, I probably should not say that. Like, there's a comment that I'm gonna have to sit down and address. I wanna have better lighting before I address this comment, but somebody, <laughs> somebody tried it. You know, my comments, I have to approve all of them. So I read all of them. Um, some of y'all ask me questions that I don't have the answer to. That's why if you like, I commented months ago, I don't have the answer to it. I don't have the answer to that, uh, that question about the what is it i i e l t s test um because i didn't have to take that and every time i ask somebody about it they don't give me like a good answer to share with you all it's always very confusing like sometimes maybe blah blah, blah. and i feel like like i can't share that information okay because i don't know i don't know so i do read all the comments and last a couple nights ago there was this one particular i'm gonna say she was a woman because she didn't have a profile picture she had no videos she came on my page and she, she commented one video on one video and said oh a lovely video thank you so much for making these and then y'all she kept watching videos and she stumbled upon the one that was like um watch this if you plan on moving to dubai and she didn't like that video apparently she said oh well you know what i said i was gonna do it when i had better lighting so stay tuned y'all i'm almost to the mall yeah whatchamacallit oh no my water bottle's spilling the lighting was really bad i have this equal water bottle it lights up on the bottom to let you know when you need to drink some water um but Oh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> y'all. I'm really scared about what y'all gonna see in these, um, I don't know why it does that, in these 25 days. Um, because I'm just gonna let this camera roll. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. But the real reason why it takes me so long to get videos out is because my Mac is slow. Like, I didn't do all those upgrades. I should, but editing is just a pain now. So, <sighs> yeah, that's that. Um, but, yeah, I'm about to go in this mall. I don't think I can vlog in here. But maybe I can, like, show y'all some stuff. I don't really know. Hey, what are you doing? I'm vlogging. Danielle lives in Abu Dhabi now, so I don't get to see her whenever I want to. Um, basically, when she comes to Dubai, we link up. I've been to Abu Dhabi once and wasn't able to see her. Um, but I'm going back on Friday because her birthday is coming up and she's having a twerk fest, so. That should be fun, right? I don't really twerk, but it should be fun. 
that car. But yeah, y'all, I'm just gonna walk in. So let me turn this off and I'll see where I can put y'all up and let y'all see them all. I already have sweater weather. I'm gonna get some more. And then I saw these cute things. So I'm definitely gonna get more. Just for my YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank but I'm you. not crazy there. Oh my goodness. Thanks. You too, how many you have? Uh, yeah, I just make us famous. Okay. City Center. Heart of City Center. Holiday oh, now. Right. Okay. And so, <laughs> definitely want some more soap. And it is buy three, get three free. So. two years I ended up getting fired because I was always late to the little pre-meeting because it was a joke like y'all ain't saying nothing new y'all just want me here to do what so I was always late to the little pre-meeting and they were like but it was like a family so it was like if I miss something <laughs> and but then we had new management and he was not a part of the family and he made them fire me, so whatever. Danielle texted me too. She's from up. Watching the show called For Life on my cinema, uh, on my fire stick. Yeah, I see you there. People be singing jingle bells. Yeah, because I told her this is like. Jingle bells, jingle bells, and I'm like, that's not gonna stay in my head too long, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Lara, but nah. That ain't me. Yeah, girl. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I just got my camera in here. They let me vlog in Bath and Body Works, so I got some stuff there. But I'm really just immersed, chilling about to eat some buffalo wild wings. Candice just sent me a message. Let's see what she's talking about. Candice is my. UK British friend. She's my first British friend. <laughs> no, I see what you mean. But the rest looks good though. Look at you. Great. What do you always say to me? Okay. Uh, she's cute. She's a singer. Um, so I try to like, I'm trying to perfect my British accent. Like, um, what do they say to me in the morning? Because I work at a school. My new school has a lot of British people and Irish people. And so their accents are very thick. And sometimes we walk in the hallway and I don't know what they be saying. <laughs> see me focus there we go hey y'all so my camera died and I was walking all around the mall trying to like 
find a um a little mini charger for my camera i have the g7x mark ii a lot of people always ask me that but anyway everybody was all out of stock um i need to look here sorry let me make sure i got no cream hung because i told you my apartment's not clean yet um but i could not find a charger so i had to come all the way back home and charge a little bit um, I missed one of my classes that I like to do, which is um, TRX. If you do TRX, it's a beast. Like, it's not that hard, but I feel it after, like immediately after I leave that room. It's like, wow, I burn a lot of calories. I'm sweating. I'm hot. Let me just take a rest. I like doing TRX. Um, I just started doing core. It's all right. And then I really like doing the trip. It's a less miles class called the trip and you just cycling going on this little uh, journey or whatever but let me show y'all what I got y'all already were with me in Bath and Body Works um, then I went to Daiso now Daiso is uh, Japan Japanese store I guess it's kind of like a dollar general um, and I got a lot of my decorative stuff from Daiso my tree is from Daiso. I paid 70 US dollars for this tree. Um, should not have, but you know, <laughs> I wanted a Christmas tree that bad, huh? So, got it. This is from Daiso. This is 12 Durham's. Um, I got a new floor mat that I need to put outside. It just says Merry Christmas. This is also from Daiso. This was. How much is this? I think this had to be like 40 dirhams. 35. 35 dirhams. Oh, I need to put my hair back because I'm about to go to the gym. Um, this was from Home Center. I think I paid 40 dirhams for this. This is really cute. But I can't find any other pillows to go with it. I think I may just go back to Home Center. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, 18 dirhams. This is going in the bathroom. I got a new red throw. This was 74 dirhams. I need to put that on my couch. We're doing red and gold, y'all. So these are my gold ornaments. I got two packs of these. So I definitely feel like I need more gold ornaments. Um because from that so I got this packet and that was 32 dirhams and then today I picked up this for my um, hanging shelves I wanted real garland I mean not the real garland but like you know the green garland that you get um, but they didn't have what I wanted I um, just got some super glue and a, uh, um, what do you call this? Power strip. And then I got these for my little table that I have, but I don't know how I'm going to decorate. I'm going to make a Christmas table. I just haven't found things, but tomorrow is the last day that I'm buying Christmas stuff for my apartment because I got to get it up. All right. But this is why I really wanted to, um, come back to y'all before I go to the gym is because I always go into Sephora and spend money on something that I should not have and today that was the lip injection lip injection extreme let's see if you can focus y'all um I don't know if it's gonna focus there we go lip injection extreme <laughs> I have been on TikTok, y'all. Okay, I've been on TikTok, and I should not be on TikTok listening to what people are buying because, you know, <laughs> do I need lip injections? No, but it sounds cool, right? I want to see what I look like, so I got it. My lips are real crusty, but this is what my lips look like right now. All right, here we go.
Should I put on more? Okay, that's enough. Now, they said that this stuff may hurt. If it hurt me, I'm returning you, okay? If you start stinging my lips, I'm returning you. If you're hot like fire, I'm returning you. If you make my lips swell big like the movie Hitch, I'm returning you. But we're going to see what I look like with lip injection and lip plumper. This is my first time ever doing a lip plumper. Um, I told my mom, she was like, but why? I do what I want, you do what you can. Okay, Sherry? But I'm just gonna go to the gym, y'all. <laughs> I'll let y'all know what happens. Hey, y'all. So it's like, it's like 20 minutes later and you can see nothing happened. I'm sitting in traffic at a red light. Um, there is an Emirati beside me that keeps staring at me. That's why I pulled out my camera. That's what they do, they stir. But you can see, no lip injection. It doesn't look like I got fake lip injections at all. So this was a waste. Does it look like anything to y'all? No. Um, but if you don't know, there are gas attendants in Dubai. So I haven't pumped my gas in a very, my own gas in a very long time. It's really nice. And yes, my car is still running. They don't want you to turn your car off here. It's very, um, it gives me anxiety. Or used to. I'm a little more calm now, but I still think about it every time. So, now that I'm at the gym, I don't want to work out. Um, I got extremely tired for some reason, like sleepy tired. And at this gym, I signed up for, first it was dance, and I took one Afro B class and was like, nah. <laughs> Cause I thought like dance meant like, like Zumba, like they was gonna be working out, no. Dance classes here are like five, six, seven, eight, a boom, boom, cat, and I can't do that. Um, so I was like, no, I'm gonna change my extra. So it was between intro to DJing, um, which sound really cool, or like intro to, to guitar, or drama and so right now I'm signing up for drama I'm gonna test out some of those classes so the thing with that is the drama class tonight is at 7 30 and the trip class is at 7 30 so I was like since I'm already tired I'm just gonna do the drama class and then go to the gym after and just do some um, treadmill and maybe some squats with some heavy weights yeah, I really wish I would have brought my debit card in here because they have an amazing cafe for this. So, I always come here and I get a Nutella cookie. They have healthy stuff like gluten free stuff, but don't nobody want that. <laughs> Oh, while we're here, <laughs> let me tell you about the comment that I got. Um, let me look at the picture because I screenshotted and sent it to all the women that were in that video. So it was on Watch If You Plan on Teaching in Dubai Zoom Party Part 2, okay? I feel like y'all are too... It says, um, this is on the Watch This If You Plan On Teaching In Dubai Zoom Party Part 2. My only concern when I hear Americans speak so negatively about their homeland is that they don't recognize it's the value of their homeland that has given you the value to be sought after. It's great to enjoy cultural experiences, especially knowing that negative situations are prevalent back home. 
However, also recognize that you're in a place where your homeland is still a valuable standard in the world and others seek its wealth. You have an opportunity to gain diversity and build bridges between nations. So don't be so dismissive of the nation that gave you the notoriety, education, and affordability to be elsewhere in the world and be an expert in your field. Other than the negative outlook on America, I thought this was very informative and entertaining. I would have loved to hear more from Myra. <laughs> no baby, but this comment here, let me read it one more time to make sure I addressed everything. My only concern, your concerns are not my concerns. When I hear Americans speak so negatively about their homeland, what was so negative? Kat saying that she didn't want to go back home? We don't want to go back home. America don't want us. Is that they don't recognize it's the value of their homeland that has given you the value to be sought after. Recognize that. Um, it's great to enjoy cultural experiences, especially knowing that negative situations are prevalent back home. Negative situations, I wouldn't call it that. Um, I would call it genocide, police brutality, white supremacy. I would call it exactly what it is, not negative situations. However, also recognize that you're in a place where your homeland is still a valuable standard in the world and others seek its wealth. Um, I don't like your tone, ma'am, telling me what I should and should not recognize. Maybe this is not the channel for you. Actually, this is not the channel for you. Um, you have an opportunity to gain diversity and build bridges between nations like you telling me what I have. I have an opportunity as if I haven't thought about that, as if you hold the power in educating me. Um, stay in your place. And so don't be so dismissive. Again, trying to tell me what to do. Don't be so dismissive of the nation that gave you the notoriety, education, and affordability to be elsewhere in the world and be an expert in your field. I love being America. I love being American. America don't love me. Did I already say that? I feel like I did. Maybe you got it. Other than the negative outlook of America, I thought this was very informative and entertaining. So, if you say anything negative about America, then you just hate your country, huh? Is that how it goes, Naomi? Is that what you got from this, what is it, 35 minute video? That we just all hate America, that's why we came to Dubai? That ain't it, baby. And then, I would have loved to hear more from Myra. Myra said everything that she wanted to say. So if you wanted to hear more from Myra, find her on Instagram, reach out to her. She's seen this comment, she probably won't talk back to you, but you're being very dismissive, that's the word you like to use, um, dismissive of the women on that panel and on that Zoom party that took time out of their day to provide information on their experiences in Dubai and in America. So when you say that, it's kind of like, um, our opinions don't matter and our experiences don't matter, but I would love to hear more from Myra. Myra's a great person, by the way, so. Thanks, Naomi, for the comment. Thank you for the view. Mm. I have drama class. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. That drama class was dope, okay? I just, it was everything. It was everything. It was everything. Like, we was in there doing exercises. Um, we did some improv and then they were like, we're gonna do some on-camera work. I was like, okay, on-camera work. Like we are gonna get up here and do some improv in front of each other. No baby. They brought out a real camera. We were doing our improv. They set up the story for me. They put me in the story. It's like what they say, a long running improv. So I just had to, jump in there and say some stuff and roll with the punches 
while a camera was moving around and then we watched it on screen at the end of the class. Baby, when I tell you best decision on skipping the trip tonight, like, and they're like a very close knit community. Um, they were in there eating brownies and kikiing with each other. So it's gonna be fun. Really nice people, I had a really good time. So, so I parked my car right here to go into this store. Oh, and it's UAE National Day, so. It's a whole thing. Look how cute. But yeah, about to go into this store. I'm gonna get some water and some snacks and I'm gonna start editing and it's a full moon so I'm going to um, take a spiritual bath. If you don't know where a spiritual bath is, it's just where you cleanse yourself and I usually do my affirmations and just you know cleanse my energy. So I'm gonna do that tonight and edit. And if this is the last time y'all are seeing me, yay, we did it, day one. Keep watching, keep liking, subscribe to my channel. A lot of y'all just watch my content and don't subscribe, and that's rude, that is rude, okay? Subscribe, and I'll see y'all for day two. Bye.